Holmes and Robach were officially ousted by the network in January following allegations of an affair and are now awaiting severance. Robach, 50, was recently spotted wearing a 18-karat gold promise ring gifted to her by Holmes, 45. Eric Schiffer, chairman of the Los Angeles-based firm Reputation Management Consultants, spoke exclusively to the U.S. Sun about the sighting as well as what might be next for the duo. He said that she's showing love to TJ by wearing the ring around her neck while out in public in New York City. They're being their authentic selves, living their life, using love, Schiffer said of Robach and Holmes. He added that the two are likely awaiting their payout of the settlement to end. But, this is not the end for either of them, Schiffer continued. The duo has yet to find a new gig, either together or independently. The longer either are off air, there is a half-life decay that occurs with broadcast personalities and you lose your audience's emotional tie, Schiffer previously told the U.S. Sun. And your perceived value then slowly, slowly bleeds out because of that. As far as next possible steps, it was recently reported that Holmes and Robach won't be back in the anchor chair anytime soon. It's been crickets, Schiffer said of news on the ousted host's job opportunities. But one source exclusively claimed to the U.S. Sun that the coupled-up co-hosts are bound by their exit agreement from taking on news presenter jobs for a set amount of time. However, a second source insisted there is nothing stopping them from taking such roles at this time. While Robach and Holmes have been taking meetings with networks and production companies since being ousted from ABC, they are only casually job-searching, the first insider explained. Even if they had an entering offer, they can't take it because of the wording in their exit contract, the insider claimed of the duo's job hunt. Yet the second insider contended that their job search, which appears to be focused on non-news-related TV gigs, is a product of their own discretion and has nothing to do with their exit from ABC. A network source denied the existence of a non-compete agreement in Robox or Holmes' exit packages, but they were unable to say if the ABC settlement specifically forbid the pair from on-air news hosting in the immediate future. Despite the tumultuous ending at ABC, Schiffer said not all hope is lost for the two. I would imagine that they are continuing to have agents shop opportunities, but this is likely one that will go, you know, in a more entrepreneurial way or local or regional market than national, Schiffer said. The couple has reportedly been on the hunt for non-news-related TV jobs, like a reality or a talk show. They have even tried to land a spot on Dancing with the Stars, according to Radar Online. However, while the insider confirmed Robach and Holmes had set their sights on the coveted celebrity dancing show, it is an ABC production, so it is unlikely they'd wind up there. Despite getting the boot at the same time, Robach reportedly scored a better deal, sources told Page 6. Robach joined the network in May 2012, while Holmes began in September 2014. Disney chose to manage the public relations side against its financial obligations, Schiffer previously told the U.S. son of Holmes and Robach severances. Disney has likely negotiated to manage finances, manage the payout, to the extent that infractions by TJ were material. They asserted them, and that likely played a role. But you're also talking about someone, Amy, who has much more seniority and achievements at the network, and they showed respect to that, which they should. Schiffer also said that despite the reported difference in severance pay, neither is guaranteed a better outlook. Amy has many options, but so does her partner, he said. I don't think it necessarily detonates T's career probabilities in any material way.